Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, and welcome to another video tutorial. Glad for you to join us today. Today, our topic is area of circles. Uh, so you know the drill, get out your pencil, get out your composition book, and let's take some notes. So to find the area of the circle, when you find the area, you're finding all that space on the inside. And remember, to measure that space, you're using actual squares. Well, mathematicians have discovered that the formula to finding the area of a circle is just pi area equals pi times radius squared. So that means if this radius was four, you would just multiply 3.14 times four squared or 3.14 times 16. Area of a circle is just pi times radius squared. Remember, the circumference of a circle is pi times diameter or 2 pi r. It means the same thing. Pi times diameter, 2 pi r, same thing. So the question remains, why is it pi times radius squared? Why would they do pi times radius squared? And they all figured it out based on a rectangle. And so what they did is they took a, they took a circle and they cut the circle into little triangles. Do you see... They took the circle and they cut into all these little triangles, 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 triangles like this. And then they took them out, cut them, and flip-flopped them and laid them out like this, which makes what shape now? A rectangle. And you guys know in a rectangle, it's the width times the length, right? To get the area of a rectangle. So let's look at this that we put all over here. What is the width of this rectangle? Well, it's just one of these. It's just one of these lengths, which is just really the radius. Now, this part's gonna be a little bit harder, but try to follow me. What is the length of this rectangle? Well, the length of this rectangle is half, half of these triangles that I, they're right here, half of them are right here. The other half's on the other side, which make up the whole circle, right? So you got half. So you have half of the circumference, right? And we know circumference, you have half of the circumference. And we know circumference is two pi r, but if you have half that, if you half it, you now just have pi r. So here, to find the area of a circle, it's radius, that's the width, times pi times radius, which gives you pi r squared. Now I know some of you went over your head. It's okay because we're going to discuss this again tomorrow. I just, again, I just want you to have an understanding of the why is it pi times radius squared when you find the area, but you got to memorize that formula, pi times radius squared. So anyway, what I want you to do is press pause and solve these four problems. Here I want you to find the circumference of the circle and then the area, and then find the circumference in the area. And again, we know circumference pi times diameter, and area is just pi times radius squared. So solve these four problems. We'll go over them during class. Make sure you solve these problems. Don't be that student that goes, I didn't see these problems, Mr. Carlisle. I didn't know they were on there. Yes, you did. All right, have a great day. Bye-bye.